good morning good morning good morning well it's morning for me as i record this voiceover and we're gonna cook breakfast today so i sprayed my cast iron skillet with like the avocado oil you can really use whatever oil you have and now i'm just like dicing up or like slicing these potatoes because i'm making breakfast potatoes in the cast iron skillet and put in the oven so anyways how are y'all doing like how is life i have been gone for a second but i didn't even really plan on being gone i have been trying to upload like videos for like the last two weeks but my youtube studio just was like no like it was taking forever to upload a video now i found like a trick to basically like do it so i am back to my posting schedule but school has started back and i'm just like oh my god <laughs> Like, I just have so much going on, but, like, I don't mind because, like, I actually enjoy what's, like, happening. It's just, it's a lot sometimes, and we just ended this first week, and I'm tired as fuck. Like, I am so tired and exhausted, but, I mean, I feel like this year's gonna be a lot better than last year. This is, like, my first, like, first of the year, like, first week, because I started, like, <laughs> I didn't even start doing the last, of the school year last year, so, yeah. It's a lot of stuff, but I feel like I'm more like prepared for this school year. And then back to the video. So I'm using some avocado oil. You can use whatever oil you have. And then I'm taking some onion powder. I'm just seasoning these potatoes. Whatever seasonings y'all like, I feel like just go with what you like to use. This is rosemary. Like when it came to this, like I was just adding spices and stuff. And then the paprika, I love paprika. I will honestly put paprika, onion powder, garlic powder on literally everything. And then leaf oregano, I was just really just trying to use some of the, like, the spices and stuff that's been in my cabinet that I haven't used. Like, And I'm just like, okay, you know, let me just go ahead and start actually incorporating them into meals. I added some parsley and I added garlic powder. And now I'm adding some salt. I usually don't use like this salt. Usually I use like pink salt, but at that moment, I didn't have no pink salt, so I was just using this salt. Use whatever you have. Like, it truly, honestly, does not matter. And then black pepper. Like, yeah. I use literally salt, pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, and paprika, like, for real, on everything. Those are, like, my top five spices. Like, if I had to, like, literally choose, like, five and I couldn't use any other spices, those are the spices I would use, honestly. And I'm just mixing these up, trying to make sure that the spices and the oil is, like, coating the potatoes, like, all the way. And no potato is just, like, uncovered because that's going to be nasty. <laughs> I need them to all be even and, like, all taste seasoned once I cook them in the oven, you feel me? Okay, so now that I have seasoned all the potatoes, I'm just pouring them in my cast iron skillet before I put them in the oven. When you're pouring these into your skillet, I just say be careful and try to make sure that they're all even and there aren't some just like piled up on top of each other if you have room to like space them out. And I'm just gonna put them in the oven. I think I put them on the top shelf and I put them on 425 in the oven and I don't even remember how long I kept them in there. I just say, oh no, here you go, <laughs> 35 minutes. I forgot to set a timer. I usually set timers because I will be like doing something else and I will completely forget that I was cooking something or something was in the oven or I'll forget like how long something's been in the oven. But I'm taking this protein powder, like, I mean, not protein powder, this protein pancake mix. I got this from Aldi's and it has like, oats like whole oats like up in the mixture and i did not like that that texture when i made them one time so i was like yeah we're gonna have to blend this up because i don't want no oats up in my pancakes you feel me? <laughs> like i'm just like mm, the texture was just not giving so i blend them up in my food processor and then i wasn't going to use the entire thing at first but like when i did the ratio and stuff i was like you know what i might as well just use all of it so yeah i don't even remember like the cup size i mean like you know how much is in there but there is a recipe somewhere on the box i just don't remember and i haven't bought these again so we'll just read the box these are okay like i mean i really just got them because they had protein in them because i've been trying to increase my protein intake but they straight they're not disgusting but you know i feel like any protein pancake is it's not what it's like a regular pancake because it's not like and i'm just adding the water like based on the ratio that like the pancake box like said so here i am doing this and we about to move on in a second 
So we switching the point of view, you feel me? I'm trying to get better and like add different views and like angles and stuff while I make these videos because I think it's fun. It's fun and I think it like shows just like, you know, different perspectives that like, you know, make it easier for me to tell y'all what I'm doing. But if you hear something in the background, Shadow is chewing on his tire and yeah he's having a time in his life so please just ignore it but i'm just trying to make sure i mix these pancakes like really really even i go like back and forth like in different directions and it makes sure you like scrape the sides and i want to add a little bit more water because the pancake mixture was thick and i don't want no thick pancakes like this like i'm not that type of person i want my pancakes to be a little bit thinner was this still like a thick mixture like all in all like yeah but i know it's because like the products like in the ingredients they use because this is a protein pancake mix remember and it's definitely different than like regular pancake mix but i just took my potatoes out the oven i probably did this at the halfway point i really don't remember but i just like you know wanted to toss them up so like no one side just gets like hella burnt you feel me and make sure it's you know spread out again and then put it back in the oven so now i'm moving on and i'm separating my batter because i was making some regular like regular pancakes and i wanted to make some chocolate chip ones because this <laughs> If you watch one of my other videos, like I was talking about how I had this dream and about like Waffle House and I ain't been to Waffle House in forever and I really don't feel like going to Waffle House and I was trying to eat something healthier so I was like, okay, let me make some chocolate chip pancakes. I really wanted to make like waffles, but I don't know what in the world happened to my waffle maker. I done lost it, so I'm going to have to get another one. Okay, also side note, do not use all these chocolate chips that I use. Because when I tell you this shit had too many chocolate chips, I was like, damn, this shit is sweet as fuck. And you know how grown that makes me feel? Like, I used to love, I would love sweet shit. You know, I'm just like, mm, that's too much. I can't do that. Like, am I really an adult now? Like, <laughs> but anyways, like, I just mixed it up. And then I poured some water in this pot because I'm going to make some grits. You feel me? And then I'm pouring some oil, that avocado oil, in a pan so I can make these pancakes. I was cooking 10 million things at the same time, y'all. Like, I was working. But, you know, I just really wanted, like, a full meal, you feel me? Like, I was just like, you know what? I got time. I'm finna cook me a nice little breakfast. Now, you know, we turned the pancakes, you know. And now we're moving on to this other pan. And I'm finna put some turkey sausage that I got from Kroger. It's from the Simple Truth brand. That's, like, their, like, organic brand and stuff. And, yeah, I usually don't eat, like, a lot of, like, pork or, like, beef. Like, and if I do, I try to get organic. And, yeah, it's just because, like, I don't know. Like, you just can't tell that they've been putting shit in the food. Like, it just tastes different. Like, I've been eating, like, certain types of food, like, organic or just, like, healthier alternatives. And sometimes I can eat something that's, like, you know, not the best quality. But, like, if, if I eat, like, way too much of it, like, I feel sick to my stomach. Like, that's, and you just know that that's bad. Like, I don't know what in the world they doing, but they need to quit this shit because they really trying to kill us sleep. But, anyways, I poured some grits like the like mixture in there i don't know what ratio i use it probably was like a recipe on the back because i'm not someone who like you know grew up on like grits like this like i remember having like the instant packet grits so you know this is different but like i like cooking stuff from scratch like i'm just someone who enjoys like cooking for real for real like i have like thought about like the last couple years of like you know being like a private caterer but like i don't want to be a private caterer to everyone it's like i want to be able to pick my clients be like okay i'm gonna make like somebody hit me up like one of my friends or family members or something and they be like oh can you make this i'll do that and you know just pay for the ingredients because food is not cheap now but yeah i i don't know i just been thinking about that also if you see my pancakes looking burnt it's because of the chocolate chips in there they didn't taste burnt or nothing like this just you know how it is i probably should have put them in wait i don't even know Never mind, I feel like that was probably the best way for me to do it, honestly. But I added some butter up in uh, these grits. The Kerrygold butter just hits different. Like, it's like grass-fed, like cows. I mean, not the butter, it's grass-fed cows, but like it's made from the milk from grass-fed cows. And I don't know, it just hits different. Like, I've been using this for like the last couple years and you know, I don't know, I just feel like I can't go back to regular butter now. Like it just, the quality just, like chef's kiss and then i'm adding some sharp cheddar cheese this is from the Kroger brand and i'm adding some salt i probably would use kobe jack shreds if i had them but i didn't have them and i'm just seasoning it up with like i think black pepper and salt just you know give it a little bit more flavor because you know it, it needs something but yeah i did not measure anything out i usually don't be measuring stuff out i just you know go with the flow does that mean that sometimes i over season my food yes does it also mean that sometimes i under season my food Yes, but it is trial and error. 
like i'm gonna still eat it regardless because i'm not finna waste it but it's just like you know just go with your gut go with your gut for real for real that's all i can say because i ain't got no recipe for y'all y'all just cooking with me for real for real y'all watching me cook and then i'm taking these simple truth bacon bits and this is from like you know these are uncured bacon bits and i like to get the uncured bacon bits because like i said i don't really eat much like pork and stuff and i like to dry and get any like or organic or like uncured like products if i can because i don't know when i be eating certain things like it truly does make me sick i know i just said this but like I don't know like I just can't do it with pork like I barely eat pork though and the only thing I would give when it comes to pork is like bacon and maybe like like breakfast sausages like the sausage links but other than that yeah I might have like a pork chop every now and then but barely did like every couple months if did and I'm taking some eggs and when it goes to eggs I usually try and get like cage free eggs if I can if not you know I'm gonna just make a shake but once again, I feel like you just have to be so careful nowadays because, like, when you really think about it, I feel like half the, like, diseases and, like, illnesses people have is probably because of the food because they're putting so much fucking crazy shit in the food. And it's sad because, like, it's like, why are y'all doing that? Like, it doesn't make sense to me. But anyways, I'm seasoning my eggs with some black pepper and a salt. And, yeah, I'm finna mix it up. Oh, also, I'm adding these Kobe J like slices because I didn't have any Kobe J shreds. So I was like, you know, this is going to be good enough. And I like eggs with cheese. You know, if you don't like eggs with cheese, you ain't got to do this, but I like it. And I'm also trying to get, you know, as many like carbs or just proteins and just, you know, stuff like that. Fats too. Like, I'm trying to get all that stuff into my diet more. So, like, you know, we can bulk up because I got to get back in shape. And I'm trying to be built. Like, I'm trying to be strong as hell. Like, you know my muscles I need all my muscles to be popping like 24 <laughs> 7 Okay, so now that I've basically mixed my eggs up really well, I'm going to get ready to cook them. So I'm taking this olive oil like spray, whatever spray you want to use is cool, and I'm pouring my egg mixture into the skillet, and I'm just letting it sit for a while, and I'll just, you know, make scrambled eggs. Okay, so now that I have scrambled my eggs, I am going to move back to the grits. So I'm taking some sour cream and then some salt and some of those shreds again, just because I tasted it and it, it didn't taste as seasoned as I wanted to be. And I added a little bit more water because I wanted to like, you know, make them a little bit thinner. And yeah, I'm just mixing it and then just, you know, making sure everything is incorporated well. we are done so this is the final meal i made a lot of stuff oh my god like this is like a for real 
full course like breakfast if y'all like this video and you want to see more just make sure you like comment and subscribe and i really appreciate y'all for watching this video if y'all have any recipes or like you know want me to do any like cook with me videos please let me know all right bye